Hey guys, quick demo, straightening sticks with a stick press in the vise. Stick press, simply. Piece of wood, it's cut like that. It's faced with some, in this case, cushion floor, liner, use leather, rubber, whatever you want, just to give the stick a bit of protection. Fits in the vise really easily with these rubber bands. Set to go. Now most of the other methods you see of straightening sticks, like doing it over your knee, on a press thing, round half a wheel, they all rely on using this as your lever. Which means if you've straightened that bit already, you can't then use that as the lever because then you're gonna bend it again. So this is what I've been using for years now made it myself. An idea I got out of a stick maker magazine years and years ago. So basically all I'm going to do, find the bend, heat it up with my trusty paint stripping gun, press it in the bend, let's see what happens. So I like to use a straight edge. The bench works really well. You can use your door frame on your shed, anything that's got a straight edge that you know is straight. So, put it on here, and I roll it about a bit, till I find the biggest bend. Now look, you probably can't see from there, but here's my biggest bend. You follow that bend back to where it touches the table, and it's right there. So I'm going to mark that, bit of chalk's easy. So there's my mark. I'm going to bend it the opposite way so that that bend turns that way. So, a few seconds in the heat. Keep it rotating so you don't burn it. And just keep it right above the heat gun. Don't do it up here, it will take forever. Get it right down here. About 10 or 15 seconds, is that all you need? Too much, you make it brittle instead of soft. That'll do. Right, look, I can grasp it, but it hurts. Don't grasp it just for the sake of it. Into my stick press, that's my chalk side. Chalk side goes away from me. Wind it up till I catch it, and I'll press it right out. I've put an extra long handle on this, just an old mop handle. Put it on my vice to give me some leverage. And pressed it right out. How long, how long do I leave it in there? Roughly the same time as I've heated it. So 10-15 seconds. Don't leave it too long, otherwise it'll bend that way. Take it out. Check it on your straight edge. You can't see, but that bent bit is now straight. Look. Here's the bend. That bit's straight. It's got little bends in it, but I'll take those out later. But basically that bend is gone. Move on to another one. Rub that one out so I don't do the same bit twice. Do this one. So I'm checking on my table. Keep rotating it till you find where the biggest bend is. Mark it my side. That's where I'm going to heat it up. Where's my chalk mark? There. Right. I'm going to heat it up, same as before. Hold it above the, the heat gun. Keep it spinning. Keep it turning all the time. You don't want to stop it. Simple bends, you can do it the old fashioned way, over your knee, like this. But again, you're using the stick for leverage, and my knees aren't as good as they used to be. And I'm no good at standing on one knee either. I've got part of it out, but I'm going to do it in there, because I know this will work. Wind it up, 
press it right out. The vice is doing the work. You're not using it for a lever. You're not standing on one leg. That's doing it while I'm talking to you. That is doing the work for me. That'll do. Take it out. Check on the table. Well, now checking it, I can see it's actually gone too far that way. So all I do, turn it round in the press. Bend it back the other way, just for a second or two. It's what I call an on-off. An on-off. That looks better. Check on the table. That one's gone. Right, I'm going to do this one right on the end. You will never do this over your knee. You won't do it very well with any other system that relies on leverage. Because you haven't got enough to leave it. It's only the thin end, don't need as much heat. You learn all this by trial and error. And by golly, I've had a lot of error. Wind it up. Just be gentle with it. Don't go too fast, you don't want it to crack open. That's all it needs there, about six, seven seconds. Check it on your bench, bench edge. Looking good. One last big one I want to show you there. Can you see how big that bend is? Right. Take this one out and you can have a play on your own. Keep it spinning. Don't let it stop or you'll burn it. No need for any tin foil, no need to wet it. No, no, none of these plumbing stories you hear. No damp cloth, none of this rubbish. Keep it turning, you won't turn it. Well done. Into the press. Chalk side away from me. Wind it up. So you've got a definite bend the other way. Because it's going to spring back. That'll do. I don't count it, but it's about 10 or 12 seconds. Look, that was the big bend. Good, now there's one there, there's one there, there's one there. And when you've done those, you will find little ones in between that you didn't see before. It's up to you when you take them all out. I get addicted to it and I have to straighten them. It's up to you. If you want to leave it like that, it's not a bad stick. Tell it to you. You can buy the stick presses from us on the website, thestickman.co.uk, or make your own. I do not mind. Just do it and have a look. Cheers now.